What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you a review of the Nike Zoom Vermeero 5 Premium in the supersonic or light bone colorway. So according to Nike.com's official description, this shoe is just called light bone and black. But based off of what I've read from sneaker blogs and sneaker websites, this is supposedly part of a supersonic pack which consists of this, a Nike Cortez and a Nike Dunk Low. So this pair drops on August 1st for a price of 175 US dollars or 230 here in Canada. And the official colorway for this shoe is pale ivory, light bone, white, and black. So personally, I'm not exactly sure what the supersonic pack is supposed to be about. I've read online that supposedly it represents the sound of music. But again, on Nike.com's description, they make it sound much more like a shoe that's inspired by the lights of nightlife. So if anyone watching has a clear definite answer, drop a comment down below. As for the shoe itself though, so this is the Nike Zoom Vimero 5, which is a shoe that's become very popular these days for casual everyday use. And while it was originally released as a pinnacle running shoe, I'm personally not complaining because this is a very comfortable sneaker. And for me, my feet love it when I wear the Zoom Vimero 5. So that's why I was very excited to pick up this colorway, not only for the comfort, but the colorway in itself is very clean and very simple. So diving straight into the details, on the toe box, this is crafted using an open style mesh, however overlaid on either side of the toe box, we have these reflective 3M layers, which actually reflect this bluish tone when hit with direct light like flash. Surrounding the front toe cap, we have what feels like a genuine nubuck in grey, with this thick reflective line on either side. Covering the urethra area of the shoe, we have this shaggy suede, and then moving downwards towards the side of the sneaker, we have another overlay of that grey nubuck, with two reflective lines running down from top to bottom. Covering the side panels of the shoe, we have this rubberized TPU cage, which in normal light looks like a milkyish white tone, but this panel actually glows in the dark, and it glows a very vivid blue. Overlaid on top of this, we have a synthetic leather swoosh in white, and then moving downwards we have another panel of nubuck, and the top three eyelets are covered in that shaggy suede once again. Surrounding the top portion of the ankle collar area, we have more of that open style mesh that we saw earlier on the toe box, and then surrounding the middle portion of the heel, we have another overlay of this reflective 3M, and this also glows a bold blue tone when hit with direct light. And then on the bottom of the heel, we have this TPU heel cup, which has this triangular pattern to it found throughout. And in normal light, this sort of has like an off-white grayish tone to it, and has a bit of a scratchy feel to the touch. But again, this heel cup also glows in the dark just like the side panels, and it glows a bold blue color as well. As far as the laces go, so these only come with one lace option and they're just your normal flat style lace in white. Underneath this, the tongue is covered in this fine black colored mesh and we have a foam layer underneath to give you added padding. Running down the center, we have this woven strip with this reflective detailing running down from top to bottom. And then the top of the tongue, this feels quite plush and padded and it's covered in this off-white colored nylon woven finish and we have a rectangular tag on the top with the Nike Supersonic logo and Vimero 5 branding done in blue. The interior of the shoe is decently padded and it's covered in this black colored lining and it sort of has like a quilted feel and look to it. And then moving on to the insoles, so the insoles here have custom graphics on it as well. According to Nike.com's description, it's supposed to represent Seoul, South Korea, I'm not exactly sure why, but either way on the heel we have that circular Nike supersonic logo once again. So the upper of the Zoom Vimero 5 sits atop this full length Kushlan foam midsole and this is painted in this off-white or cream color. So Kushlan is what gives the shoe that really soft, pillowy feel. But in addition to the Kushlan, we also have Zoom Air units both underneath the heel as well as underneath the forefoot of the midsole. So that gives you that impact protection, that responsiveness, and that springiness that Zoom Air is known to have. And then finally, turning this pair over to the bottom. So this is your classic Zoom Vimero 5 outsole. And in this case, it's crafted out of a mix of off-white and glow-in-the-dark paneled rubber. So we have that same waffle-style traction pattern on the forefoot and the heel along with these horizontal grooves to give you added flexibility. And the yellowed vintage looking rubber, this glows a bold blue color as well, which I thought was really, really dope. And then on the medial side in the middle, we have this cream colored TPU shank plate, which helps with torsional rigidity and midfoot support. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this pair. And for those wondering about sizing, to me these fit like any other Zoom Romero 5. So I personally go true to size for this pair and it fits me great. My foot measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. I got these in a size 10, and the length of the shoe is perfect. It's just about a finger's width between the edge of the shoe and the top of my toe, and the width gives me no problems, even though my feet are a little bit more on the wider side. 
So whatever size you normally wear in the Zoom Vimeo 5, I know some people with wider feet prefer to go up a half size, but again, whatever size you normally go with, just stick with that same size and you should be okay. Moving on to the comfort, so the Zoom Vimeo 5 is one of my personal favorites when it comes to comfort. With that full length Cushlon foam midsole along with Zoom Air underneath the heel and the forefoot, it gives you that perfect balance of that pillowy soft feel without being overly soft and dead feeling, you'll still have that responsiveness and that bounce back with the Zoom Air underneath the heel and the forefoot. And the upper of the shoe is extremely lightweight as well. It's very breathable, very airy, so it makes it a very good shoe for summer. So if you're someone that prefers more of a pillowy, soft cushioning setup on your foot, then this is a shoe I highly recommend. Finally, in terms of the quality and the craftsmanship on this shoe, so unlike typical Zoom Vermeero 5s that pretty much use all synthetic materials, I was surprised they actually used genuine Nubucks on this pair, which I guess makes sense considering they added premium on the official name of the sneaker. So while that was great, I thought the overall build of the shoe was pretty solid as well. The stitch job was, in my opinion, pretty flawless. The panels were cut and placed on consistently. The only small issue I had was there were some minor paint blemishes on this heel cup on the right foot, but really I'm just nitpicking at this point. You really can't even see it from a distance. So again, for a mass-produced general release Nike shoe, I think these turned out really solid. So with all that out of the way now, let me toss these on feet, I'll lace them up for you, and I'll show you guys how these look. This, in my opinion, is a great sneaker. The white, gray, cream, and black combination, it's pretty much a shoe that you can wear with anything you want, but I love how the hidden details on this shoe gives it a whole personality of its own. With the glow-in-the-dark details, the 3M details, it's just one of those things where the loudness of the sneaker is hidden in plain sight, and it would be incredible to see you rock these in the daylight, and then, for example, you walk into a movie theater where it's pitch black, and just see this shoe just light up and glow in the dark, that would be really impressive. So I love the contrast of the seriousness of the exterior color, contrasted with those hidden loud details, which gives it a bit of that yin and yang vibe. And I love the comfort of the Zoom Vimeo 5, so I can see myself wearing these a lot in the coming months ahead. So let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys think with this Nike Zoom Vimeo 5 Premium in the supersonic or light bone and black colorway? What are your overall thoughts on this pair? Are you a fan of the colorway? Is this a shoe you can see yourself wearing? However you feel about it, drop a comment down below and let's talk about it. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on my Instagram account at esco8, follow my Twitter page at sean.go, and visit my website at seango.ca. So until next time, thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy this review and hopefully I helped you in some way. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one.